Hey everyone, it's Gabriel Simmer here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something with my computer. This is a mess of wires and this is my computer. This is my 750Ti and let me grab my flashlight so you guys can actually see uh, my cooling master and all that. But things that I want to do today, I want to move put my flashlight down for a sec. I want to move this so that's blowing air in from the front and out to the back exhaust. Uh, currently, it's pulling air in from the top, and it's not super efficient uh, because I, I'm pretty sure it's going in here, but it's like getting redirected, which isn't that efficient. So I want to turn it around. I want to move these ram sticks over so that they're in one, and I believe that's two. I can't quite see though, and maybe also tidy up these wires, try to hide them somewhere or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to get this unscrewed and we will see what we can do. All right, so I've taken off the CPU cooler. I also had to take off the fan. I dusted it a little bit with my duster, so it's actually, the air can actually flow through. There's still a little bit of dust on there, but I'll get it off. There's a lot of dust on the heat pipes. Holy cow, it's really caked on, and yeah, okay. Uh, you can see my AMD 8350 right there. Uh, that is an 8 core at 4. Point, or no, 3.5 gigahertz, but I've got Turbo Boost turned on so maybe, so that um, that can fluctuate. Um, I'm going to need to, I'll probably need to move this, this cable. I don't know where else to put it. Definitely need to dust this fan. Can I take it off? I can. Excellent. I actually want to replace this fan in the future with a red one. Um, so that it matches my keyboard, because right now it's a mess. And I also want to change these RAM sticks out for something else, maybe something red. Um, my 750 Ti, I'll probably just do a bit of dusting on it. You can kind of see there, there's a bit of dust on there. Um, there's my hard drive, my disk reader. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab some... I'm going to grab some... Um, rubbing alcohol, and I will try to get some of this thermal gunk off. I have a little bit more left, and it should be enough uh, to replace it. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I just wiped off all of the thermal gunk on the CPU, and I've got my new stuff, well, old stuff. It came with the Cooler Master thing. Cooler Master thing? Yes, I know how it works. It smells a bit like rubbing alcohol, but that's fine. Okay, so that went on a little bit messier than I expected, but it should be fine. Um, next, I'm going to put on the CPU and uh, do it all in, and then put the fan on, or put the fan on first, and then, actually, I'm going to switch these around first, and then we can do that. Okay, so that went a lot better than I thought. As you can see, I've moved, I've moved it so that it is now blowing air out. The back. Uh, I've done a little bit of cable management, which you can't really see, but believe me, it looks a lot better. I hit everything behind the tray, so you can actually, um, you actually have some room to work down there. You can't really see it. Um, you can actually see some of the inside of the computer. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and run a quick stress test and see what kind of temperatures we can get. Okay, so we're running a stress test with the stress utility and. In Ubuntu, as you can see, we've just got it running uh, with eight cores because I've got an eight core CPU. You can see it's using up all of the CPU here, and we're getting eh, not too too bad. Um, it's slowly ramping up as it gets a bit hotter, but that's not too bad. Uh, if we actually bring up our sensors here, we can see. Um, CPU temperature is about 43. That's probably going to go up a bit, but it's overall pretty uh, pretty good. Considering I'd be getting probably about a uh, couple more degrees in this uh, if I was, if with my fan uh, the way it was, that's not too bad. Anyways, I'm going to let this run. I'm going to make myself some lunch, and I will come back to this and see how it's doing. Okay, so I've been running the stress test for probably about 10 minutes now. It's maybe 15, I don't know. I wasn't really keeping track. Um, 
it's not too too bad. 45 degrees or so. It's staying in that range. Um, I had to restart the the stress test. I started with debugging enabled, but I switched it. So it's running at it was eight CPU cores with uh, four VMs. Whatever that means. <laughs> Uh, still running at 100%. Um, but yeah, I think that this was well worth the um, about like half hour, 45 minutes that it took to switch it around. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that this was informative about placement of CPU coolers. I don't know. Uh, but hit that subscribe button because maybe I'll have more stuff coming out soon. See ya.